will be vitally important for them as well. And for Nebraska, win the battle on the glass and spread that offense out. We were talking about how Alexis Markowski is a threat from three in the pick and pop. We were at that shoot around earlier this afternoon and she did participate. And it's going to be interesting to see how long she'll be able to go. Ivy sets her feet, knocks down the three. For Nebraska. Order giving the ball up, looking like she's not wanting to drive against Markowski. Nye answers right back to tie up this game. Leah Nye is vicious with her footwork and her pro hop into when those grassroots programs don't play a lot of zone where you just stand and don't rotate and move and then they get to the upper levels of basketball and can't operate. Aliyah Nye back to back baskets for Illinois. Jess Shelley can do everything for this Nebraska team. Ivy is stopped, she kicks out to Bourne, a great three point shoot. Order setting the screen, big step back, it's a long two and it goes for Peebles to get within one. Ivy stopped again, 10 on the clock for Widener. Shelly lining it up from three, she's got it. From the top and on the other side, you have Jazz Shelly knocking it down for the Huskers. Entering the game here early for the Huskers, who I would argue, Christy, might be the deepest team in the Big Ten. Yeah, they have so many weapons and so many threats. Shelly into her fellow Aussie, Isabel Bourne, a player that inspired her to come to Nebraska. Bourne has had to play the four, play the three, as well as at difficult assignments there. Porter takes it right to She is on a mission. She has been playing at a different level here at the Big Ten Tournament the last two days. No look pass from Shelly down into Bourne, who finishes under the rim. Jazz Shelly is bringing all of the Jazz to the floor with that one. Door cut, it is McKenzie, and she will get her first basket. That started over four. Better to be disruptive down low in the block. Thanks, Megan. I feel like I hear that from every coach. We're freshmen, they have to learn how to play defense in the Big Ten. But wow, just you got to pack up that home goodness and bring it on the road, especially here in the Big Ten tournament for the rest. Eva Rubin faces up, knocks it down inside, but face guarding. Markowski, she can hit it from long range, and she does her first. Back and then the two-man game. Here's the pick and pop. Markowski staying up top. She's like, here I am up here. Let me get this thing to switch things up, including going under on screens like they've done, and, and opening up those opportunities for Mark Markowski. Is it too early to try and make those changes? As Bourne sticks with Five seconds left for Jayla Odin, a freshman for the Illini. She knocks down the three to eat into this deficit. She'll pound along the baseline against Markowski. Ten on the shot clock, and she'll throw it away. Good defense by Alexis Markowski inside, denying Porter any angles to attack. Jazz Shelley creating match. Really doing battle well with the dynamic Sam Hybe on the other side in the perimeter. Order getting a lot of touches. This time she'll face up and knocks down the long range too. Uh, she's gonna have to give that back out or try to get Markowski in a pick and roll to clear some space so that she can attack the basket. Underneath the screen, Shelly for three. Shelly going behind the back up the floor and spinning, leaving it for Markowski. On fire! Approaching the five-minute mark of this second quarter. Nebraska started out strong, has stayed strong, trying to move on to Friday's quarterfinals. Jazz Shelly again for Nebraska. And she got that wide open opportunity from three. Giovanna Lopez down inside to Bostic, making a move against Cravens, who sticks with her, and she finishes anyway. Nicely executed there. Myla Brown can't connect and rebound to Widener. Illinois has gone cold, shooting 33% as a team. Here's Markowski again. She can't be left open. Well, she's waiting up there, and she is not being contested. 
Somebody's got to find her. She's going to get loose all night long. By Lopez, who sticks with the play, keeps it alive for the Illini. No quit in this Illini squad. McKenzie and one for the Minneapolis native. Getting some playing time in the second quarter. Almost has that tapped away. Ten on the clock for Shelley. Patient, then turns on the Jets and gets to the rim. That's where Shelley did a lot of her learning from, understanding exactly what defenses are going to do, and I think it's paid off pretty well for Nebraska. That was the first foul on Peebles. Sam Hybe at the free throw line. Can't get the second. Markowski getting up and finish. Most every major statistical category, including scoring, Shelley goes inside to Markowski, who gathers herself too strong. One more try, and one for the freshman. This Nebraska team that has a top five win against Indiana by 16. She also talked about how that manifests on the court, Christy, with wanting to score every time she has the ball as Widener scores going along the baseline. but. And you can tell by how hard and purposeful, purposeful she takes her cuts from the weak side. She doesn't just take a cut because, oh, this is part of the play. I'm supposed to run this route. No, it's working. And he goes out quickly enough on Jazz Shelley. I mean, that's something that Amy Williams really wanted Nebraska to shore up. She said, we've been doing more rebounding drills as of late than we have in the last one or two months. Tomorrow. And I am up standing clapping my hands because tomorrow is going to be a day. Do you hear me? Do you see those faces? We get to see. The pressure they've kept up that style of play. As Hybe loses it, Ravens has to go the other direction and that falls through. She had to go the other direction because she got bumper card into that <laughs> direction. Anastasieska tries to shovel it off. Nine, difficult shot, that goes. And that's really going to test all of their energy, as you mentioned, exerting themselves so heavily yesterday. Here's Bourne lining up the three, and she's got it. Anastasiuska waiting for that Bostic screen. She goes right to her, and a quick release and finish for Bostic. Demila Brown splits defenders and finishes with a flourish. A 14-point game, one minute left to go in the third frame. Shelly sizing up the defense, takes a bump, and she'll go to the line for a three-point play. Four of seven from three. I mean, just a complete game by Jazz Shelly, but we knew that coming in. She's a Swiss Army knife for the Huskers. Jayla Odin. Up in this second half, she is up to 12 points. Shelly. Looking for her shot again. She is outstanding. 20 points for Shelly. Five seconds left. Jayla Odin knocks it down. Shaping up to be as exciting as we thought it would be here in Indianapolis. Murkowski scoring in someone. They have antics on the bench that are fantastic, and creative and original. Jazz Shelley creating once more, going to the Aussie. Izzy Born, two 20-point scores for Nebraska, by the way, Murkowski and Shelley and Born. Also pouring in 14 points on the other side, the Illini. You're in a unique position where you're, you played at Nebraska, had a great career, and your daughter now is playing there. How special is it to have that type of lineage in the Markowski family? Alexis and three siblings are competitive, so there's a couple times that I've realized that she's probably bigger and stronger than me now, so I, I've got to be careful when I pick my bats. And this is really fun to see them love the game as much as well. And that actually runs deep with Amy Williams too. Her father, a long time and successful head coach in South Dakota where she's really followed on her footsteps and her sister as well, who's a coach at Division II, Mankato State in Manco Mankato, Minnesota. Absolutely, you'd love to see that. Shelly, that is her eighth three point. Since the first half. Shelly looking for another one. Make it nine three-pointers on 13 attempts. Have a game 
Jazz Shelley. She's at 32 points. Dalia McKenzie and what she's going to bring to the court next year. Exactly. I'm so excited and, and pumped up for that. Anastasia Eska, the grad student, spins. She actually is working on her second master's degree. She has one at Duke in business. She's working on another one at Illinois as the Huskers get a three-point play. The gut punch that that feels like. The Bostic scoring inside for the Illini. Also leading the floor is Bella Craven. My estimation, everything is big because all those little things add up to huge things. Mackenzie scoring under under 130 to go in the way that she plays the game. Mackenzie up to 18 points, seven for 17 shooting. Annika Stewart gets that to go. Commanded this one from the second quarter on is Salafe Amuson. Their season goes on. They have 23 wins tied for fifth most in single season victories in school history. 92-74 is the final. They need